In this session, we are discussing a very famous searching algorithm known as binary search. Remember, binary search is applicable only on pre-shorted data. If the data are not shorted, then a binary search algorithm cannot be applied on them. We know what is a searching algorithm, some set of data will be there and I shall be having one search item. I shall search that very item throughout this particular array content or throughout this particular set of data residing in some array and there I shall find that at which location I am finding such data if the searching is successful otherwise it will tell that searching is unsuccessful. So that is the basic searching algorithm known as the binary search. So let me go for proper explanation. Here you see there is one array A which is having 8 number of data and the subscripts are ranging from 1 to 8 and look at the array content the data all the data have got arranged in some ascending order. So 10, 17, 20, 25, 33, 37, 41 and 53 that in the ascending order. Okay, now how this binary search algorithm will work? At first I shall make big is equal to 1 that is the lower bound, n is equal to 8 that is the upper bound. Here the upper bound is equal to n is equal to 8 and I shall calculate the mid position. What is the expression to calculate the mid position? Integer of big plus n whole by 2. So, 1 plus 8 9 by 2 4 for 4.5 integer of that. So, I shall be getting 4 for mid. Then I shall search this item. What is the item here? I have considered that searching item is 19. The searching item is 19. Okay. So, I shall search this item. So, this is my big and this is my end and this is my mid. So, I shall search this uh, a 19 at this very particular place that is the mid is equal to 4. Okay, now mid is equal to 4. Now, what will happen? You see 25 is not equal to 19 and also 25 is greater than 19. Then what will happen? Then it will find that item is lesser than 25. So, there is a finite probability that this item will be obtained in the first half not in the second half because in the second half as the data were shorted in the ascending order. So, in the second half I shall be getting data more than 25. So, there I cannot find 19. So, what I what I shall do? I shall make end is equal to 3. What is 3? 3 means mid minus 1. So, I shall confine my range in between 1 to 3. 1 to 3. So, what is the mid in that case? 1 plus 3, 4 by 2, 2 integer of that 2. So, I shall be getting 2 here. Okay. So, now what will happen? My range will be squeezed to 1, 2, 3 and my mid position will be 3. So, that is my big, that is my mid and that is my end. So, now I am at this particular iteration. So, my mid is equal to 2. So, now I am searching this one. So, 17 will be compared with 19. They are not equal. So, still now successful searching cannot be declared. Now, 17 is lesser than 19. So, that means the 19 could have been found in the upper half, in the second list. That means in between mid and end that is 20. So, here this big will be equal to mid plus 1. Here the big will be equal to mid plus 1. In this way it will occur. See. So, here we are putting a tick. So, big is equal to mid plus 1. So, 3 end will remain as 3 as it is and here we are having this particular mid position. How? 3 plus 3 by 2 integer of that and that will be 3 again. So, my range will become this. So, big, mid and end, big, end and mid both are pointing to this particular third location. So, but third location's content is my 20. So, which is greater than 19. So, I can find it in the first half. So, how to get the first half? First half means here I shall go for end is equal to mid minus 1 as I did before also. So, end is equal to mid minus 1. So, 3, 2, big is equal to 3 and end is equal to 2. That means the limits have got crossed, the limits have crossed. So, that means unsuccessful searching.
I cannot find this item in this particular set of data that means unsuccessful searching will be declared. So, this is the basic logic of binary search. So, binary search is applicable only on pre shorted array or pre shorted data. Now, this is my algorithm. So, algorithm binary search is having some set of input arguments. The first one is the array name A, next one is the lower bound, next one is the upper bound and last one is the item. Here I have considered lower bound is equal to 1 and upper bound is equal to 8, but I can take them from the user's input because you know that in case of C or Java programming language, the lower bound for an array is by default 0. So, that is why to make the algorithm flexible, I have considered lower bound, bound and upper bound as input arguments. So, big is equal to lower bound, int is equal to upper bound, mid is equal to int of big plus int whole by 2. So, while a mid is not equal to item until I get the item at the mid place and big is lesser than equal to end that means big has not crossed end. Then in that case if I find that a mid is greater than item just think a mid is greater than item and I'm, I have considered that all the data are pre shorted in the ascending order. So, a mid is greater than item that means there is a probability of finding item in the first term. That means, end has to be updated with the value mid minus 1 as we demonstrated here. Okay. So, end is equal to mid minus 1 otherwise I might have been I might be finding this item in the second half, second part, second sub list. So, here the big will be updated by mid plus 1. So, either end has got updated or big has got updated. So, I require to recalculate mid within this while body because that mid calculated above the while body. So, that means mid is equal to int of big plus and hold by 2. So, again the, it is uh, uh, checking this particular conditions, condition number 1 and condition number 2 connected by and. So, if I come out that means two logic can take place either a mid is equal to item has taken place that means successful searching. So, if a mid is equal to is equal to item then lock is equal to mid. Otherwise, big has crossed end, big has crossed end. So, that indicates that unsuccessful searching. So, otherwise lock is equal to minus 1, minus 1 is not a valid subscript. So, whenever the caller function will get lock as output argument as minus 1, that means unsuccessful searching has taken place or any kind of positive value in lock will indicate that the data item has been found at the lock place. So, this is the case. I think it would be better we just make another variable lock as output argument here in this particular argument list. We can go for lock also here because I am not I am not writing this one in this way that uh, that algo integer binary search. So, I am putting all my input and output arguments in the parameter list. So, here this lock as this lock is the output argument. So, lock will be used in call by reference in case of C programming. So, in this way return lock will return the value of lock if the lock value returned is having the negative that is minus 1 that means unsuccessful searching otherwise if it is positive or 0 that will positive or lower bound whatever it is then it is a successful searching and the data item has been found at the lock place. So, in this way my algorithm will work. So, this is my tracing of binary search algorithm this is the algorithm itself elaborately I have discussed I think you have got the logic how this binary search algorithm will work. Thanks for watching this particular video.